Hi folks, thanks very much for joining me for this week's still water pattern. Uh, what you see in the vise is a fly called the elevator. I'll just show you the top view of it. So without further ado, let's get into it. So in the vise is a Hanak H250 barbless hook. This one's at size 8 and it's a heavy wire bronze hook. The thread I'm going to be using today is the uni thread. It's white and it's at 6 0. So, first thing to do is get a good bit of wax onto our thread. And I'm going to cast on just behind the eye. Now, this is a, a fly that came from Hanningfield, I believe. It was the uh, introduced there. A lot of the guys used to fish quite close to the cages when Hanningfield used to rear its own fish and uh, it's a great fly for fishing on the hang. So I've just brought my thread up to approximately where a barb would be on the hook and I'm going to snip away my waist and the first thing I'm going to do is add a little marabou tail. I'm going to be using the Comp Candy uh, Lunar UV White for my tail. I've already got a, a marabou plume that I've been working with, so I'm going to take a thumbnail's worth of that and just put the rest to the side. And then I want to remove this thick part at the top end, and then I can just lash that on to the shank. It doesn't need to be particularly neat. And I'm going to come in with my thumb and forefinger in my right hand, pinch in tight, and then just remove my excess tail. So, so far so good. Next, I'm going to add a strand of, uh, this is crystal flash, it's a little peach one that I've got here. And what I'm going to do is I've taken a strand off, I'm going to fold it in half, and then I'm going to fold it in half again. And again, it just needs to be attached to the top of the shank. Make sure it is coming off the back of the top of the shank. You don't want it round the side or anything else. So that's just sitting nicely. Okay. Next, we're going to add our, our back cover, if you like. If, you, if I show you the original fly. So what it is, is there's a, a foam covering and the crystal flash comes over the top of that as you can see. So to make that, I've got a, a 5mm tube here and what I'm going to do, I'll try and do it on camera, quite difficult though. Uh, I want to cut it as, as in half as I can get it. And I'm just going to use one half of it here. So you see I've cut it so it's flat and then I'm going to catch that in just at the tip here and come back to the very back of my fly. Now it's very important that you make sure you brought your thread all the way back to the, to the end there. If you, if you don't make sure you're at the back here, what you end up with is a gap between the tail um, and the fritz and you don't want that. So next I'm going to use some F and F two-tone jelly. This is the UV Ghost and Orange and again I've already got a little bit off here from earlier. First thing you want to do with this stuff is just remove a few strands so that you, you expose the core of the material. Then you can catch that in just at the back there and bring your thread up to where you want your fritz to end. Now, what you'll notice here is I've got quite a lot of distance between the eye of the hook and where I brought my thread. And there's good reason for that because once I've folded everything forward, and then booby eyes have got to go on. It, you need to have plenty of room at the front. So 
Then I can bring my fritz round. Try and brush back the fibres. Each time you make a turn, come in with your four, forefinger and thumb, your left hand, and just brush the fibres back. You want this to be quite bushy, and you get as many turns in as you can. So each time I'm sweeping the fibres back out of the way, I can see where my next bit of the core is going to lie. And it just sweeps back, no bother. The, uh, I mean, Fritz, a lot of people say to me, Fritz is Fritz is Fritz, but um, I've not found that to be true. Um, some Fritzes are uh, a lot easier to work with than others. And I just find the, the F and F stuff particularly easy to work with. So I've got to where I'm going to finish. I'm going to pull my Fritz quite tight and come in with my thread, a couple of wraps to hold the material in place, then a few turns to come in front of the fritz. Then what I can do next is just remove my excess, put that to the side for the next one. Then I'm going to bring my thread all the way back to there. Okay. That's looking not too bad. So what I want to do next is make an area where my foam back can come over. And to do that, I'm going to come in with my dubbing needle and just try and part the fritz so that it lies just right for the foam to come over the top. Now, it takes a bit of patience, this, but if you keep persevering, what you'll eventually get, and I'll turn the vise in a sec to show you, once I'm happy I've got it. It's like part of a baldy man's little hairpiece. Just takes a bit of time. So as you can see, I've flattened out the top of the fritz here so that when uh, I bring my foam covering over, which I'm going to do next, that just sits and it doesn't capture in all them good fibres that you want to be to be out and on display for the fish. So I've pulled that over and I'm going to lock it in with two or three turns, come in front and then I can come in with my snips and just remove my excess. So I'll just turn the vise again so you can see what I've got is, effectively, it's a shell back over the top of the blob fritz. So, just bring that back into time position for me. So next, you simply grab your crinkle flash, bring it over the top of the shell back, catch that in place, a couple of turns, you can come back on yourself if you must. And then again, once you've secured it, in with the flash and you can remove your waste. So this is coming on quite nice, quite pleased with it. And of course the last thing is we're going to add our booby eyes. Now I'm using quite large eyes here. These are around seven millimeters and I've already made my little tic tac. If you um, haven't seen how I form my booby eyes, I'll stick a little information piece up in the top of the video there and you can nip over and see how that's done. But I've already got the pre made tic tac ready to go. So I'm just going to roll my thread out, capture in my booby eyes with a turn. And then what I can do is simply wind it up onto the onto the hook. It's not rolled right on top for me particularly well. But I'm just going to do four turns one way. Four turns the other way. And then 
I'm going to finish off at the front here with four turns around the eye. A quick half hitch to hold it into place. And that's just snapped away from me, not to worry. Then to finish off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some super glue. And how I like to do mine is I like to split the eyes on top and just get plenty of super glue in between the eyes. And what that does is it soaks into your thread wraps and secures it. And then I'm going to turn it the opposite way and I'm just going to dab a little bit of super glue on the underneath. Now just to ensure that I've not got any super glue in the eye of my hook, because there's nothing more frustrating when you're on the water and uh, your eyes are blocked up. So I just run an old uh, bit of feather through. This one's been run through too much, I think it's a bit thick. Like so, and that just cleans the eyes out nice and tidy. Then I would just stick that to the side to dry. And it's ready to go in the box. I hope that was of some use to you. It's a great little fly this, especially on the hang. As you can imagine, because of all the foam on it, it just comes up like an elevator. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please think about doing so now. And I'll see you all next time.